Hi guys, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another tutorial. So recently I published a video on how to sign in using Google in React. And in that video, someone had suggested that I do a uh, React Native Apple sign-in video. And that's what I'll be taking you through today. So I've set up a default React Native project. So the first thing we'll need to do, let's go ahead and uh, set up our Firebase project. Uh, let's give it a name. Uh, Apple sign in. And then click continue. Uh, we'll disable Google Analytics. And then we'll go ahead and create our project. And then while that's being created, uh, let's jump on to this page here. Uh, so this is the package, one of, well, one of the packages that we'll need called React Native Firebase. So let's go ahead and install this. Okay, so we'll skip uh, the Android setup and head over to iOS setup. So it says here to allow the iOS app to securely connect to the Firebase project, uh, we need to download a configuration file. So if we head back to Firebase, our project has been created. What we need to do now is first enable authentication. And then we'll enable Apple authentication. Then we'll click save for now. And then on our project overview, we'll add a new iOS app. Uh, we'll give this a bundle ID. This should match the bundle ID of our actual application here. So let me create the bundle or let me change the bundle ID here. Uh, let's say, okay, let's just call it com.example.apple sign in. Then I'll copy that then paste it in there. Uh, the other options are optional, so I'll skip those. Then I'll go ahead and register my app. And then I'll download the configuration file. I'll just place this on my desktop. I'll just rename that. Okay, uh, we'll skip this and head back over to uh, React Native Firebase. So the next step here is to add the file that we just downloaded to our project. So to do that, we'll head back to uh, Xcode and then right click on your project name and then uh, select add files to Apple sign in. Oh, sorry, or your app. So my app is Apple Sign-In, so it says add files to Apple Sign-In. And then just uh, locate your uh, config file that you just downloaded. Mine is on my desktop. And then make sure that the copy items, if needed, is also selected. And then I'll click Add. Okay, and then the next thing, if I scroll down. So open the folder. Uh, where your app, uh, app delegate.m is located. And then in the, the very top, we'll need to add this line here. And then next, we'll need to locate this function called it finish launching with options and add this if statement here. So this will be uh, this function here, did finish launching with options. And first thing we add, we'll need to add this if statement. So as you can see, we're already getting errors. Now to fix this error, what we'll need to do is run our pod install. So I'll go ahead and copy uh, this line here and CD into my iOS. So I'm running on an M1 machine. And if I run this command, it will give me an error. But if you're running on a different uh, MacBook, it should be fine. 
So as you can see, I'm getting this error here. And this is due to uh, the M1 processor. So to fix this, there's this article here that I'll share as well in the description. And this provides the steps on how to resolve this issue. So if you scroll all the way down here, you'll see uh, you just need these two commands here. So let's go ahead and run that. And then let's run our port install using this command. And now as you can see, all our ports are being installed. So Firebase is being installed and all the other uh, uh, packages that we just installed. Okay, so that was successful. And then now we can move on. And first let's perhaps build our application to see that everything is fixed. So as you can see, the error here is also gone. Let's go ahead and build our project. So the build was successful. So the issue here has been resolved. Now we can move on to uh, setting up our Apple authentication. So if we scroll down on the left side here, you see you have all these options here. You have analytics, app check, app distribution, authentication. So come down to authentication and then click on social auth. And then in here we have uh, various providers. So we have Apple, Facebook and uh, Twitter and all the others. So we're concerned with the uh, Apple option. So firstly here, what we need to do is install this package here called React Native Apple Authentication, which I have opened here. So right here, we'll just scroll down here and add this to our project. So this will give us the sign in with Apple button. So I'll go ahead and install that. Uh, first, let me just CD out of my iOS directory. And then just run pod install. So I'll use the same command that I ran previously, uh, which I got from this article here. Because if I run just pod install, I might end up with the error again. So I'll just run this command again. Oh, so first CD into iOS. And the package has been installed as well. Okay, and I can CD out of that. Now, before we can continue writing any code, uh, we'll need to follow these steps here as well to enable, uh, what is this, Apple sign-in. So we need to add a capability to our project. And to do that, we need to log into our developer account. So you might need to have a, uh, you might need to be on the Apple developer program to enable Apple sign-in. So in, in your developer account, uh, just click on certificates, identifiers, and profiles. And then go on to identifiers. And uh, if you have the identifier already listed here, you'll just have to click on it. So if I go back to my application and click on signing capabilities, I just need this uh, identifier here. I'll go ahead and select my team. Uh, or before that, I'll first create the identifier. Click app. Then I'll call it Apple sign in. And then this identifier has to match the one in my application, uh, which is that one there. And then under capabilities, uh, just scroll down and select uh, Apple sign in. Then click continue and register. Okay, it says this one is not available, so I need to select another one. Uh, let's say, um, okay. I'll say point to code. 
then click continue, register. Okay, so that was successful. So now I'll have to replace this one here with that one and then select my team, which is under this account here. So I'll go ahead and select that. Okay, and then in here under capabilities, I'll click uh, add capability. Then I'll select sign in with Apple. And since I've selected the option in my uh, develop account, it will create the certificate or generate the certificate for me. And then I can just uh, run build. And I think we might have to maybe uh, generate a new uh, Firebase config file because remember the Apple ID that we, um, bundle ID that we used here was completely different. Yeah, so it was a different bundle ID. So we might need to generate a different app with the corresponding bundle ID. But uh, let's continue. Okay, so in the documentation here, I can go ahead and copy this line and add this to Oh, we didn't actually touch on our app.js. So in our app.js, we can maybe just edit everything here. Uh, let's just remove everything. Then I'll add that as an import. So I'll just add some styling to my view here. And then inside my view, uh, that's where I'll place my Apple button. And then this will import the styling from uh, this button here. So which will be, I think the white background with the black text. And then we'll need to uh, add a method called on Apple button press. Okay, there we go. And then if I run my application, it should display the uh, button in the center of the screen. Oh, I will need to import view from our React Native. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, we have the button there, but uh, there's no functionality yet. So it says undefined is and blah, blah, blah. What's this uh, on button press? So what we need to do next, uh, if we scroll down here, as you can see, we have uh, this function here, which is our on button press. Uh, we'll need to import Apple Auth from uh, the React Native Apple Authentication Package. And then uh, let's just change this. We can go ahead and copy this. So this function basically handles the sign-in request from Apple. So it starts the sign-in request, and then it, it ensures that the uh, identity token is returned and then creates a Firebase credentials from the response. So I think uh, to do this, that's where we'll need to uh, fix our Firebase file. So first, the, first the, let me just go back to my Firebase and then click add app and select ios again and then i'll go ahead and go copy my bundle identifier which i should have here Here we go and 
you know, register the app. So I'll delete that one. And save this one. Okay, then I'll go back to my application here and then remove this. Okay, and then I'll cl uh, click Add Files again. So it'll be Desktop. Then select Google Service Info play, uh, Playlist and then add. Okay, so the bundle ID corresponds, and then I'll just build this again. So, build was successful. Uh, let me go ahead and run this in my emulator. So now what should happen is with the Apple button that we have in our uh, screen, when you click on it, it should uh, show a pop-up uh, that asks for us to sign in using our Apple credentials. So in our app now, if I click on the sign in with Apple button, uh, these two or various options come up, which are share my email and hide my email. So if I click on share my email, uh, Firebase should be getting my email. If I hide my email, then my email will not be received. So I can click uh, here and then continue with password and then sign in with my Apple ID. And then click continue. So I had to downgrade down my emulator to iOS 13. Uh, the Apple sign-in wouldn't work on any version greater than iOS 13, but it should work on a normal device. So I've downgraded down to uh, iPhone 11 running iOS 13. Uh, so we left out one thing here. Uh, if you just head back to React Native Firebase, uh, we need to import this line here, uh, which is React Native Firebase auth. Not sure if we installed that one. Uh, we might just have to go back usage. So let's run this line here to install Firebase Auth. I think that's a step we skipped. So let's go ahead and do that. Then if I head back, I'll just import this. So let me go into iOS and then run pod install. Okay, then let me run the build once more. So the build was successful. Uh, let's try one more time. And successful this time. So let's uh, check Firebase and see if the user has been created. And there we go. So user has been created in our Firebase. So what you should have now is just somewhere in your app, you should have a listener event for when the sign-in state has been updated.